Hi, this is Halal. Uh, in this video, I will try to solve a question that was asked by a brother in the comment sections. So the question is, given total cost function that is TC is equal to QQ minus 8Q square of plus 57Q plus 2, where TC is the total cost and Q is the quantity and demand function which is P is equal to 45 minus 0.5Q where P is the price and Q is the quantity find level of output and price at which total revenues are maximized so we have to find uh, the optimal level of output and price where the total revenues are maximized first of all uh, we should uh, be aware of the fact that for profit maximization there are two conditions for uh, profit maximization so i will write profit maximization two conditions must be satisfied first is that marginal uh, revenue should be equal to uh, marginal revenue should be equal to marginal cost and second condition is second condition is marginal cost should be rising or uh, at the intersection of the marginal revenue and marginal cost our marginal cost curve should be ri rising or it is uh, slope should be positive or uh, slope uh, should be positive. These are the two conditions. So we will use uh, these very conditions uh, for revenue maximization. Since it is uh, asking us for revenue maximization, so we will uh, confine our question only for the revenue maximization. Okay. So first, uh, I will write uh, this demand function that is P is equal to 45 minus 0 0.5 Q. Now we have to find the first uh, the total revenue now total revenue as we know is simply uh, price times quantity since this is the this is p we will multiply it by q so total revenue is price uh, times quantity so uh, price times quantity so i will write this is our price function so i will write 45 minus 0 0.5 q and i will multiply it by q so this becomes uh, 45 minus 0 0.5 Q square. So this is our total revenue. From total revenue, we can calculate the marginal revenue. Marginal revenue is simply the first derivative of the total revenue with respect to quantity. So our marginal revenue is the derivative of total revenue. So I will write uh, DTR divided by DQ which is equal to so sorry here it is 45 q now how to find uh, the derivatives it is very easy i will not go into the detail here so uh, here the derivative of q is 1 so 45 into 1 is 45 minus this 2 becomes coefficient so 2 into 0 0.5 uh, which is equal to 1 so we will get q here means our marginal revenue is equal to 45 minus q this is our marginal revenue similarly we will find the marginal cost okay our uh, first we are given the total cost function is given as this very function that is q cube minus 8 q square plus 57 q uh, plus 2 from this total cost function we calculate the marginal cost by differentiating uh, this total cost function with respect to quantity so marginal cost is simply the derivative of total cost with respect to quantity okay i hope i am making myself clear now uh, we will differentiate this very function first of all the derivative of q cube is simply this 3 becomes coefficient q and we subtract 1 from the exponent so 3 minus 1 is 2 so this becomes 3 q square minus similarly this 2 becomes coefficient so 2 into 18 is equal to 16 so this is 16 now uh, subtracting exponent by 1 2 minus 1 is 1 so we will get 16 q similarly the derivative of q is 1 here by using the similar logic so we get here 57 into 1 which is 57 plus uh, the derivative of constant is 0 
okay so this is our marginal cost now we will use the conditions for profit uh, sorry revenue maximization here so first condition is our marginal revenue should be equal to marginal uh, cost now our marginal revenue is this very function and this is our marginal cost so we will equate these two functions so first order condition requires marginal revenue should be equal to marginal cost okay so our marginal revenue is uh, this 45 q 45 minus q is equal to our marginal cost is this uh, 3 q square minus 16 q plus 57 okay now we will solve this very expression for quantity so just rearranging the terms so this is here 3 q square so i will write here 3 q square we have a uh, minus uh, 16 q this is 16 q this 16 q and we transpose this uh, here this will become q also now we have uh, 57 57 now transposing this will become minus 40 for you okay and it is equal to zero so solving this this is 3 q square now minus 16 q plus q is 15 q so i will write minus uh, 15 q now 57 minus 40 for you which is equal to 7 minus 5 is 12 sorry this is 2 and here 5 minus 4 is 1 so we get this very quadratic equation now again solving this factoring 3 out so we will get q square minus 5 q uh, plus 4 is equal to 0 now we have a quadratic equation how to solve this or we should um, so i will just uh, make sure that you get this we should get two numbers such that their sum should be equal to the coefficient of middle term that is minus for you and the product of those very numbers should also be equal to the constant uh, that is 4 so if we uh, write here minus 4 and minus 1 so minus 4 and minus 1 is minus 5 minus 4 times minus 1 is plus 4 so we get the numbers here so i will write here q square in place of minus 5 q i will write minus 4 q minus uh, 1 q is minus q and in place of uh, this 4 i can write minus 4 times minus 1 it should be equal to 0 now making pairs here so this is q uh, q minus 4 here factoring minus 1 out from these uh, very terms so we get minus 1 out so we get here q minus 4 is equal to 0 again solving q minus 4 and q minus 4 out q minus 4 and q minus 1 this should be equal to 0 i hope i am making myself clear how to solve the quadratic equation now solving further that means our q minus 4 should be equal to 0 or our q minus 1 should be equal to 0 or q is equal to 4 or q is equal to one so we get two values of quantity that is q is equal to four and q is equal to one okay we have to see which of these two uh, levels of output maximizes our total revenue for that uh, we use the second order condition now second order conditions tells us so i will write second order condition tells us that at the intersection of marginal revenue and marginal cost okay the marginal cost should be rising that is our marginal cost should be rising or the slope of 
the marginal cost should be positive. So I will uh, uh, make you uh, it clear by making a diagram. So let us say we have quantity on this axis, price, marginal revenue, marginal cost on this axis. So let us say this is our marginal cost go okay which we got let us say this is our marginal revenue go this is our marginal revenue go so This is, uh, I will write here, this is marginal revenue curve. Now, first order condition requires that marginal uh, revenue should be equal to marginal cost. So at this point, we have uh, marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost. At this point, also we have the marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost, okay? At this level, that is at Q is equal to one, marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost so first uh, first condition is satisfied here also at this point first condition is satisfied when q is equal to 4 okay so we have to say which of these two level of output is uh, maximizes the total revenue for that we use the second order condition second order condition uh, tells us that uh, the slope of the marginal cost should be positive at the intersection of marginal revenue and marginal cost okay so here we can see the slope is negative at this point the slope is positive okay so this is diagrammatic uh, explanation of um, how to how to find the profit uh, or rather the revenue maximization output level and price okay so after that, why, uh, what will we do? Uh, we will see what is the slope of the marginal cost. This is our marginal cost. Now, to find the slope of the marginal cost, we have to differentiate a marginal cost function uh, with respect to with respect to quantity. Our marginal cost uh, was somewhere. Uh, this is our marginal cost function. Now, slope of uh slope of marginal cost should be uh, should be positive so i will write here should be positive at critical points by critical points we mean the point uh, we mean the point is of q is equal to 1 and q is equal to 4 now this is our marginal cost so i will write marginal cost function is 3 q square minus 16 q uh, plus 57 now uh, differentiating this marginal cost function so i will write here marginal cost that is mc prime is equal to d mc divided by dq which is equal to now 3 to the 6 q uh, minus 16 so the slope of marginal cost i have uh, denoted this by this mc prime uh, is equal to 6 um, 6 q minus 16 now we have to insert the value of the critical points and, and see whether we get the positive number or negative. If we get the positive num number uh, here, then the output is maximized at that, uh, at that critical point. Now when MC prime, when Q is equal to 1, now inserting the value q is equal to 1 this is 6 into 1 is 6 minus 16 here we can see 6 minus 16 is minus 10 which is less than 0 so when q is equal to 1 our revenue will not be maximized now giving mc prime when q is equal to 4 we will see 
6 into q goes 6 into 4 that is 24 minus 16 which is equal to 24 minus 16 is 9 here which is greater than 0 so this uh, i have denoted uh, this mc prime for slope here we can see uh, when mc when q is equal to 1 our slope is minus 10 which is negative so this q is equal to 1 will not maximize the total revenue when q is equal to 4 the slope of this marginal cost curve is 9 and let us say it's 9 so we see here the we get here the positive number so we can say that this q, q is equal to 4 this output level will maximize the total revenue okay uh, i just uh, want to repeat here there are two conditions for a revenue maximization uh, in case we uh, here we are told to find the profit uh, sorry revenue maximization first order condition requires that marginal revenue should be equal to marginal cost here we can graphically also uh, analyze marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost these two points to satisfy the first condition but second condition is that uh, at the intersection of marginal revenue and marginal cost the marginal cost curve should be rising by rising marginal cost curve we mean its slope should be positive here we can see at output level of q is equal to 4 the slope of the marginal cost curve is positive at output level q is equal to 1 the slope is negative as we have seen here okay so this very uh, point when q is equal to 4 will maximize the total revenue now we can also find the equilibrium price so i will just uh, write it somewhere now price is simply we can find uh, our price uh, is this very function demand function our equilibrium price will be p is equal to 45 45 minus uh, 0.5 the equilibrium level of output is 4 so i will write here 4 so this is equal to 45 uh, minus 0.5 times 4 is 2 so we will get 43 so when price is 43 and output level is 4 the total revenues are maximized i guess i make myself clear thank you